हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर ए एस सैयद आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द कोर्स ऑन फाइनेट एलिमेंट मेथड इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल बार एलिमेंट इन जाइटा कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इफ यू रेफर आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वेयर वी हैव डिराइव्ड द नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल बार एलिमेंट बट दोज नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स वेयर इन एक्स वाई कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम ओके बट इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिराइव द नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट्स इन जाइटा कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो If you refer the xi and eta coordinate system, it is similar to x y coordinate system. Horizontal x in Cartesian coordinate is nothing but horizontal xi in natural coordinate system. Similarly, vertical y in x y coordinate system is replaced by vertical eta in natural coordinate system, and that's why it is called as xi eta coordinate system. Okay. If you consider the similar two-noded bar element here. Okay, no number one left and no number two. Cartesian Cartesian coordinate of no number one is x one. Cartesian coordinate of no number two is x two. If we consider any point P, its Cartesian coordinate is x. So these conditions are similar to previous derivation. Only the change is in previous previous video when we derive the natural coordinates in x y coordinate system. The total number of natural coordinates for point P we have taken two. If we are representing by L one L two, so number of coordinates for point P will be two. If we are using L one L two to represent the natural coordinates, but if we are representing natural coordinates by xi, since bar is a one-dimensional element having only x direction, which is nothing but xi in natural coordinate. Okay, there is no eta here. so if we are representing the natural coordinates using xi there is only one natural coordinate at any point of the bar element but if we are representing these natural coordinates by l1 l2 then there will be two natural coordinates which are equal to total number of nodes there are two nodes so two natural coordinates please understand this difference between when you are representing natural coordinates by cartesian coordinate and if you are representing natural coordinates by xi eta then this is the difference okay so xi is a natural coordinate of point p where x is a cartesian coordinate of point p x1 x2 are the cartesian coordinates of node number 1 and node number 2 of course cartesian coordinates are mentioned with respect to this origin o okay now when you are representing natural coordinate by using xi and eta coordinate system the important point to remember is in xi eta coordinate system origin is always assumed at the center of element this point we already discuss when we had discuss the different types of coordinate systems used in finite element method okay this video is also we have already uploaded for the different types of coordinate system used in finite element method in that video we had discuss that when we are representing the natural coordinates by xi and eta coordinate system origin is always assumed at the center of the element so here is the origin of what origin of natural coordinate that is xi and this origin is of cartesian coordinates x1 x2 and x please understand this now if you want to mention what is the cartesian coordinate of this origin okay cartesian coordinates of this origin are x1 plus x2 upon 2 X one plus X two upon two means this distance is X one plus X two upon two Cartesian coordinate of this center of the element. Okay, this X is a Cartesian coordinate of point P. This distance, okay, this distance is X, and this distance is X one plus X two upon two. Okay, and if you want to write down what is the natural coordinate of this center of the element then this xi is equal to 0 here because origin is always assumed at the center I mean this is origin for natural coordinate xi so this xi is equal to 0 here of course that we can prove also we can prove also and in this derivation we will prove that now our question is what is the value of xi at node number 1 at node number 2 even at center of the element what is value of xi 
if you find out that value of xi which is nothing but natural coordinate of 1d bar element in xi eta coordinate system now how to calculate this xi it's very simple this xi is equal to it is a ratio of distance of any point p means this point p distance of any point p from origin origin means o o of natural coordinate so this op distance this distance op okay to its maximum distance from the origin distance op means this distance okay z is equal to op distance divided by maximum distance from the origin it means what is the maximum distance of p from this origin what is the maximum possible distance it means if you change the position of p somewhere here somewhere here like this so what is the maximum possible distance means we can take the p any point p maximum at node number 2 on this side or node number 1 on this side okay so this is maximum possible distance of point p okay this distance so its value is equal to what l by 2 right so denominator of this ratio is what is maximum possible value of or what is maximum possible distance of point p from this origin o so if you take p point at no number 2 directly then its maximum distance will be l by 2 remember if you assume any point p on the right of this origin then take the maximum distance up to node number 2 if you assume this point p on the left portion of this origin here then assume the maximum distance up to node number 1 please understand okay now one more thing you please remember when you are using xi eta coordinate system xi means horizontal coordinate so towards right it is taken as positive and towards left it is taken as negative this also we had discussed when we discuss about the difference different coordinate system using apm please refer that video okay so what is xi is equal to then xi is equal to op distance means this distance upon maximum possible distance of point p on this side it is equal to l by 2 so op upon l by 2 is the value of xi okay this one xi is equal to op upon l by 2 now you have to find out value of op so how to find out value of op so op is equal to we want this distance right this is op we want this op distance so we know this distance is equal to what this distance is equal to this x1 plus x2 upon 2 and what is distance of point p this distance is equal to x right so if we minus this value from total x total x minus this value we will get this distance right this total is x and this distance is x1 plus x x1 plus x2 upon 2 so if we minus this value x1 plus x2 upon 2 from total x will get op distance okay so it is x minus x1 plus x2 upon 2 same thing is written here x minus x1 plus x2 upon 2 okay so now it's only simply mathematics if you rearrange this term instead of this x1 plus x2 if i add x1 and if i minus x1 here if i add 1 x1 And if I minus one x one, so its effect will be zero. So this x one and x one it become two x two, and this is minus x one. So value of this two term will be ultimately plus x one. So there is no change in the original equation. Only mathematically it is rearranged, right? This change is there. So why this change is made? Because now value of x two minus x one you can write down as a l. X two minus x one is equal to length of the bar element. Okay, so it is l plus two x one upon two. Okay, this is value of xi, that is natural coordinate of any point p, any point p on the bar element. 
okay this is final value of natural coordinate xi of any point p on the bar element now if you shift this point p so if i draw that figure again here this is no number 1 i know number 2 here it is the origin of natural coordinate system where xi is equal to 0 it must be equal to 0 and here it is p whose natural coordinate is xi okay and value of this xi is equal to this one right this one so now if you shift this point p at node number 1 at node number 1 if you shift this point p what will be the change the cartesian coordinate p cartesian coordinate x of point p becomes x1 here right x becomes x1 so this x becomes x1 here if you look at at node 1 x is equal to x1 so if you replace this x by x1 and now if you simplify mathematically this if you cross multiply this make lsm same so it becomes 2x1 minus this l minus 2x1 divided by 2 so this 2x1 2x1 will get cancel this 2 2 will get cancel this l and l will get cancel so value of xi is equal to minus 1 it means what is the xi coordinate of node number 1 it xi is equal to minus 1 okay this is node number 1 similarly at node number 2 x is equal to what x2 so at node number 2 if you shift the point p having x cartesian coordinate x at node number 2 so this x becomes x2 right so if you replace this x become x2 here in xi equation again if you simplify cross multiply and simplify it this 2 2 will get cancel this 2x2 minus 2x1 becomes 2l this 2l minus l the numerator will be l and this l l will get cancel the answer will be xi equal to 1 okay xi is equal to 1 it means on the left node at node number 1 xi is equal to minus 1 on the right node xi is equal to plus 1 if you want to find out what is xi coordinate of this center then put value of x put this value of x is equal to what is cartesian coordinate of center cartesian coordinate of center is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 so x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 if you put that x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 here okay so you will get xi is equal to 0 if you want you can refer this equation previous because it is modification of this only here if you put x1 plus x2 upon 2 you will get that minus the same it is equal to 0 okay so if you put x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 you will get xi is equal to 0 right so what you understand from this is simply if you want to write down the coordinates of natural coordinates of one d bar element in xi eta coordinate system so draw that one d element okay if it is two nodes this is node number 1 and node number 2 okay so somewhere at the center it is origin z is equal to 0 right node is having positive coordinate that is plus 1 and left node is having negative coordinate that is minus 1 okay so always right node of origin is having plus z and left node of the origin is minus z okay if it is three noded bar element then third node will be at the center whose xi coordinate will be zero okay so these are the natural coordinates of one dimensional bar element in xi eta coordinate system whereas if you refer our previous video it is a natural coordinate of one d bar element in xy coordinate system where l1 is equal to x2 minus x upon l and l2 equal to x minus x1 upon l okay i hope all of you have understand these two videos which are based on natural coordinates of one dimensional bar element okay thank you thank you very much